back to another video. Today for this video, um, I had something that I wanted to do with the jigsaw and hopefully it works out. This is my first time using the jigsaw. Uh, hopefully it comes, it comes out. If it doesn't, um, we'll just scratch that. But if it does come out, I will show you guys how I do this. Um, but what I have is I bought two of these uh, white board and on the back it has a chopper. I bought these at Lowe's. They were six dollars. Um, and then I got this this long one that I'm going to be using to put as um, the dividers and I'll show you how I do that. So I'm um, going to do this one is three feet and then I'm going to do the width um, 18. So this project that I'm working on is going to be a um, it's going to be an anniversary gift for Serge. So hopefully it comes out. So I'm just gonna draw the line straight across. This is where I'm going to cut with the jigsaw. And the cool thing about this is that it's a whiteboard, so I can just draw the line with the um, can just draw the line with a, a felt marker. curve on the bottom so I'm going to use this to make the curve just on the other side. So that's what it's going to look like and it's going to be the Nintendo Switch controllers it's on each side of the TV. So I'm going to make a cabinet out of them. Um, hopefully it comes out. Uh, if it doesn't, at least I tried, but um, this will be my first project that I'll be doing with my jigsaw. So I'll go ahead and do that and hopefully it comes out. So now I'm going to open this and read the instructions and then I'll move on to the garage to go cut it. So I got my um, board out here. I put it on this um, table and I put some clamps on there so that they, it doesn't move while I'm cutting it. And you're going to need your uh, gloves and then this is what I'm going to put to protect my eyes and protect me from the dust. So. I'm probably going to look funky, but that's what I'm going to use to protect the eyes. You don't want to lose your eyes, so that's what I'm going to use. And then I have this uh, jigsaw right there, and then I'll show you how I cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on.
and I tried to do the curve as best as I could. So these are the two. And it wasn't that hard. I was really worried about using the jigsaw for the first time. Um, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, gonna try and send these off and then um, paint them. So now I'm gonna cut this uh, 18, two 18s and two 14s for the inside of the uh, cabinet. and I'll show you how I'm gonna put them together. I'm gonna sand them off as well. I bought a sander, so I'll show you how I use my sander. I didn't have time today um, to finish painting it because I didn't have, I had a glossy teal and I want a mate teal, so I'm gonna end up going to Lowe's tomorrow and I'll show you tomorrow how I put it all together. these already now I'm gonna let it dry I've done like three coats already so I'm gonna be doing the side panels I'm um, gonna cut the side of the cabinet so I'll trace I'll trace the length and then I'll show you how I cut it pretty much just gonna cut this all the way down Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be gluing the uh, shelf parts on here and then I'm going to paint uh, some of the knobs that I got for the um, console to make the buttons and I'll show you how I'm going to paint that. Hi guys. <laughs> let this dry and then I'm gonna work on painting the knobs I'll show you the knobs so these are the knobs that I got these other ones well these this one these ones I'm gonna use for the joystick and then these I'm gonna use for the buttons <laughs> 